that any part of this incident that occurred was intentional? To place a bullet and position a bullet that is a live round, to make sure that that bullet is in the chamber, if I were to squeeze the trigger in a rehearsal, that that bullet came out, someone has to have extraordinary access to that weaponry to do that. But to your experience with these armorers and... I've never and... heard anything like this in my life, ever. Now, if somebody put a live round in there accidentally, see, a very important question for Hannah is, do you, have you ever commingled live rounds? Because they're forbidden to do that. It was the afternoon of 21st October 2021, around 1.46pm. The Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office received a phone call that a shooting took place on a blockbuster film in New Mexico. This wasn't a major big horror film like the one you expect to see in the movie. It was far less a kind of to consider it as a highly expensive film set where it was filming the Western West. Nevertheless, when they arrived minutes later, who the Santa County Sheriff found an injured cinematographer and director, this wasn't normal. How could an accidental shooting took place on the movie set? This is the question you want to hold on to. It was later debunked that it was due to the fact that no one checked the prop gun on the set before filming a fatal scene. Welcome or welcome back to Psycho Minds. My name is Cody and the case that we'll be digging up from the past will be that of Alec Baldwin, a director and an actor which he got in trouble for. Stick with us as we uncover what really happened on the movie set that shocked the world. Let's take you all the way to 3rd of April 1958. Alexander Way Baldwin III, better known as Alec Baldwin, was born to parents Carol Newcomb and Alexander Way Baldwin Jr. in Attenfield, New York. He had three younger brothers who all became actors and even had two sisters. How mad you have to be to be brought up with five siblings in one house is crazy in many ways. Following his pre-used dreams of becoming an actor at a, such a young age, he had desired of becoming famous and rich, according to a news source close to Baldwin, like for example, the Kardashians. He done theatre in Broadway, and his debut was in 1986 of Joe Otter's Loot, alongside with television in 1980, and he played Billy Adwich in the NBC daytime soap opera The Doctors from 1980 to 1982. Whilst is an upcoming western film, a production on the film was highly publicised. Added that after a controversial firearm shooting incident on the fateful evening of 21st October, it garnered a lot of attention and national attention because of how popularity it goes with it. It definitely looks bad on Alec Baldwin, but it doesn't mean he will face prison time as he's a free man, which is a debate that everyone should have the rights to. He was originally charged with involuntary manslaughter, but the case dropped in April 2023 in fears that will ruin his reputation and his relationship with people and co-stars of the film. He said in an intriguing interrogation with the Sheriff County Office that he quoted, I didn't pull the trigger, or Baldwin accidental pulled it while filming a scene. It is also suggested by him not being pleasant at the scene would have saved a Lily Hutch's life one way or another. But that's something that no warning sign came with, like a handy book on a hot summer's day. But moving back for the subject, the backlash she got after a fatal shooting was the second time it happened after Brendan Lee's death. The son of famous martial arts and actor Bruce Lee was killed with a live round on the set of The Crow in 1993 at the age of 23. But a lawsuit was filed and issued after a death which they got millions of, and his husband, now a widow, has a new girlfriend, according to the popular newspaper, Daily Mail. Thank you for watching Psycho Minds. That was the case of Alec Baldwin, and don't forget to click one of our videos to see what we post about.